It's day six of the Rugby World Cup and the short turnarounds continue on. Today, it is the turn of Fiji who are back out for their second match of the competition just a few days after they took on the Wallabies. Today, however, they're up against Uruguay who are yet to kick their campaign underway but are no unknown status for the Fijians who took them on less than a year ago and put 80 points on the hapless side then. How will today pan out? Stay tuned to find out. The teams are getting out ready for kickoff. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby where we are following on the Rugby World Cup and seeing just what Rugby Challenge thinks will happen each and every day of the tournament. Today's matchup, Fiji versus Uruguay is coming out of Pool D and the Fiji inside is what we will be having a look at first. A very strong kick side with a number of changes from the team that took on the Wallabies. But a number of changes means that it's just a show of the depth that Fiji has to offer. Look at this team and there's no real weakness. It's powerful players, strong runners and X-Factor all over the field. Especially in the pack, there's plenty of big boys, but we're excited to see what Nakarawa can do starting at number eight. Normally in the locking position, Leone Nakarawa is a powerful runner and will surely excel at the back of the pack. Into the back line though, it's really where Fiji comes alight. And you look through into that midfield and the outside backs, Vatabua, Raracha, Gonova, Nakosi, and Vaitukani at fullback. That is an explosive X factor and very dangerous back line for the Fijians. If it explodes today, there will be points and there will be a lot of them as well. It's a big mission for their opponents to contain it, but it looks like this could be a busy day for the scorers. Charged with the job of trying to stop what could be a rampaging Fiji will be Uruguay. A team that many don't know much about, but a team that has already suffered the wrath of this Fiji inside. There's a few names on the side that you'll pick out from the Uruguayans that could cause some trouble. As you look through the team, it's the captain in the back row, Juan Manuel Gamanara, who will start on the blind side of this back row. He is certainly a valiant leader and how he can affect his team and lead his troops will be a key part to how this pack especially will perform. A guy like Kessler in the middle of his front row will be one he'll look for to lead as well, a strong runner and a man who can put the set piece calmly into position. Moving into the backs, and it's really the 19 combination. In at number nine, and a key part of this back line will be Santiago Arata, and then outside him, even more important, will be Fully Rochelle. Outside them, there's plenty of guys that can finish. The left side, Rodrigo Silva, and on the right wing, Nicholas Fritz, and at fullback will be Gaston Merez. This Uruguayan side looks like it's got potential about it, but can they stand up to the big league so early? But can they stand up to the big league, to the explosive ability of Fiji? We find out as the teams are ready for kickoff. So we are all set to go and it's Uruguay who are playing in the blue and it is of course Fiji in the white. It will be Berselli who will have the ball on halfway. The kick off for Uruguay, underway we go. Day six of the Rugby World Cup. Fiji up against Uruguay and it is Rad Raja who takes the ball down and quickly they go to the back line. There's room for Ratava and he gets it outside and a chance for Ratavua. But he's ended up kicking it into the Uruguay in 22. And back there turning is Silva who fights the board nicely in his fullback. And a good little breakaway starting for Uruguay. And to touch goes Kessler. And the combination of Marez and Silva. Looking to launch a counter-attack for Uruguay. Unsuccessful, but on the 22, Fiji will throw in. And it's Dolokotu who throws it to the back. And Boca sets up a ball. Gunner Brooks who has none of it. Now they feed the back line and it's a big chance out wide. But the ball puts a little cover kick for Rod Roger who is just short and it's got in the back easily and calmly by Merez who kicks this long. That was dangerous for the Uruguayans. A little grubber through from Vatabula almost put them in for the opening try. Just cleared to the 22 and again it's Bocker at the back and Fiji using their open side flanker as a, a big line out source and they drive forward as well. Now it's dangerous, Nakarawa waits at the back and the number 8 he picks and he goes but he finds Rod Roger and it's knocked on! Oh that's a big error and a big blow and chance only from Nicky Gonover. 
The Uruguayans will run it out though. And they go just to the left hand nice. side. Tiana is trying to find his way through now. They launch it beautifully as well with the captain. And away he goes Kaminara. 10 metres upfield. Arata will pop it short. Surprising ball there. And just about away he was the tight head prop. Diego Albello. Crouch. But they go back for the scrum. The referee teaming. No advantage there for the knock Six. on from Gonova. How will this Uruguayan scrum fair against the Fiji? It's steady so far as Arata waits for it at the back. And it's feet of Diana it goes. Now they go to Braxelli, who runs a beautiful inside ball and a high tackle. Simonti was in a hole, and it was a desperate last minute lunge from the Fijian defender. Who will we see it? No. Don't quite catch who it was. Did look a little bit like Watabua. But an easy escape now for the Uruguayans and a great kick as well. But Shelley putting that nicely in touch. And after a lot of early pressure, Uruguay seemed to escape. Just short of halfway. Kessler will throw. And they need to skew this and get some territory in the game. They go to the back as well. And Civic Teller sits it nicely with Michelle who goes back inside and rampaging Diana. Gets over halfway. Marata. Look short so great from him and it's a forward pass. He looked back for Abello again. And a mistake by Arata for Uruguay. Dangerous little player, Santiago Arata. Crouch. Wants to watch out for. He's got big work against Henry Sinioli, who's on the ball now. And he will feed the scrum. His names we've hardly seen here for the Fijians. They've been early in possession and chances, but they haven't put them to bed. Solid scrum again. Now they find Sonny Uli away. It goes to Vanavesi. And Kutubu in midfield pops it back inside to Tomokutu. It's just short of halfway as Nakarao offloads nicely. And Solo out wide. He's got the ball again. Breaks one tackle. Head go wide. He hasn't. He's gone alone. And he'll score. Vatubu feeds here in. And that is the break that they've been wanting. He's been explosive. There's Yal and Batabua. And we thought it would have been a trial out wide there, but he held on to a beautiful step inside the dummy. Just getting around the fullback, Marez. And then he stops short and pivots round towards the uprights, give a little bit of an easier kick for, I would imagine, Batakani. But that was beautiful. Had support on his outside. Radraja was waiting. And of course, Nikosi on the wing. No chance of him getting the ball at all. Probably the most impressive Fijian man so far has been Vatubua. And here is the man we expected, Vatukani, to take the shot at goal. It's a fairly basic one, just to the right-hand side. And it's a good kick, too. Vatukani adds the extras. And we have a Fijian lead, seven points to nil, as expected, over Uruguay. Well, that's something they could do, Fiji, is really get Alvarezzi and Vaitakani in this game a little bit more than he is already. I will worry about that later as it is kicked off from Bruscelli and deep down and Sonny Ulli slips the backside Nakarawa and they start to play a little bit of confidence now, the Fijians. Easily out of their 22 as we head towards the half an hour mark and it's a run through the hooker, Dono Conto! Stop serving a penalty to Uruguay! No releasing the tackle. The hooker was so isolated. No one expected him to bust through. A good chance at three here if they want it, the Uruguayans, but they don't. They turn it down. Well, Gavinara, he is an adventurous captain. We've learned that already. This call to go for the corner. Could be a crucial one here if Uruguay can take one back. 33 minutes in now. Kessler with the throw. And they go to the front, they've lost it. Straight back, Ratava has stolen it for Fiji and it's kicked away very swiftly. All the way back now is Mirez who returns fire and he's taken out heavy tackle and a knock on. Into touch by Takani. Big error there from the Fijian fullback. It was a nothing kick from Mirez. You see it down the sideline and by Takani attacks it hard. Crouch. In hard hands as well, it Boy. goes straight to touch. 
Another Sick. chance here for Uruguay. Can they take this one? Lost their line out 10 metres out. Now they've got a scrum just inside or just outside of Slater 22. Fed from Aranta. He'll surely go open and he does. It's the first Sally. There's some. He feeds out wide to Kent. Who's just gone straight past Radraja? Run from the sticks 20 metres out. Aranta again going to run inside and Diana just about goes all the way. Just saw now, six metres. Here it is, Abello, wide. And it's got to be the first try for Uruguay. Saventa. Saventa scores for Uruguay. That is the reply that they would have been dreaming of. Santiago, Saventa scores. And Uruguay are right back in this game. They keep going to the right, they keep going right side, right side, right side, and Fiji's defence got slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. Great run there from Diana, and then it was beautifully set up. Everyone was going that breakdown. A bellow out wide, had support too. If he wanted it, Francis was there, didn't need it with himself. And Savita scores for Uruguay. Big kick here for Broselli. Way out on this right hand side. Just about 12, 30 metres in from touch, and it's a beautifully struck kick from the Uruguayan fly half. And that is a perfect two points added on. VG7, Uruguay 7. And we are heading to half time with a tied up ball game between these two sides. Neither really taking this game by the scruff of the neck, and it ends all tied up. The Uruguayans back in the game with that late, late try. Not in the game though with their territory, they're down a lot on that, but where they will find confidence is the fact that they've made just as many line breaks as the Fijians in that first half. If anything, you go the complete opposite and say they've dominated the set piece when they've had it on their side. That's turned into points for them, and that's what they've needed to stay in this game at the halftime break. Fiji will be pretty disappointed with that as we get back underway for Manavesi. Goes high and a slicey taken two from Abello. And now Uruguay have to reset. They submit to the left side and Dotti tries to charge his way through trouble here. But Uruguay, so bad there that an answer actually went into a breakdown. Numbers all end inside. A little grubby kick through and it's a chance to find the ball. Picked up from Ron Rondra. Goes left side and Donovan will score. That's Fiji and rugby. That's beautiful. That's spectacular. That's what we know they can bring to this game. And Nicky Conover is the try scorer. How about this though from the man we spoke about being the X Factor. It is Fatsabua and he puts a beautiful ball through. Rajrantra could have gone himself but he offloads in the tackle. And gives an easy run into Nicky Conover. Well we haven't seen enough of Semi Rajrantra but here is a piece of what he is capable of. Committed far too early there on the ball did Gaston Merez. And they took full toll, did the Fijians. And now the chance for Alvaretti Vitokani to add two more. 12 points of seven as the kick is over. Swirling beautifully in this amazing day. And between the uprights it goes, 14 points to seven. Any chance of rain is certainly not in the picture. They got back in the match late to Uruguay, but now they've got to do something special again to find a way back in this game. Taken down by Fiji and quickly over the ball there, where Uruguay Kessler doing the hard work on defence. But trying to play scrum hard, but they find it out to a solo back inside. They go to a Dolokoto. Will Fiji kick? You can probably guarantee that won't happen. And Solo again has another go. Inside or just their 22. And finally they get out wide to Batabua who kicks long over halfway. And a bit of an escape for the Fijians who couldn't quite break through that defensive line of Uruguay. On the 22 now. What's going on here? It's on the 22 of Fiji. They've actually kicked it out before. I didn't even notice that. It was a mistake from Vatamul, but Fiji turned over the line out. And now they'll break away themselves. Dorokoto having another big run. That boy does not pass the ball, does he? Nakarawa goes to Solo. And the pass is forward. Oh, that was a great play from Solo. He almost did 
beautiful work there, Manasa Solo. But as he found Tavita Rotuva. Crouch. Boy going forward. Scumfy, Uruguay, 54 minutes into the game. And the lead for Fiji is only seven points. Another solid scrum is Arata Fiji. And a big leg shove there from Uruguay. Arata, he skips that for a Straight to Cat. Goes out wide to Fretis. And Fretis 101. But he can't get away. A good tackle there Boys. from Gonover. And they set it up again. Slow ball. Arata taking his time to get there. Goes short, and a big ball out wide, and straight through the middle goes the captain. Now there's a chance for Uruguay. What a pass, and a try. It's a huge try as well. The scorer, Landeca. Big one, Uruguay, back in the game. Give all the credit here to the captain. And Gaminara will see him right about now. Bang, hits that ball, straight through the middle. Turns it around, beautifully inside it goes. And Ledeca will grab a big try for your one rugby. This was beautiful. Gaminara, here he is, he hits it. And look at him, he evaluates perfectly. Knows where the support is. Knows where he's going to hit that perfect cutback line. And it switches on a point to Ledeca who scores for Uruguay. Just what they needed now to get back in this game. And the stunned faces of Fiji are now plain to see. Rochelle with an easy kick again. He's so delicate with his conversions. Makes it look easy. A perler of a kick again from Rochelle. And these two kickers, Vaitakani and Rochelle, having great nights of the sticks. But to BC is back to halfway and we've got 20 minutes to play out in this one. There's a little short kick down, finds a good chase here and a good take from Civita. Now waiting for it is Arata. Goes short, another big run here coming in from the Diana. Finds a one out right, can down the track checks. Can he get away the chase of Vaitakani? He can, he'll score. Can, what a try, Uruguay lead. We've only got a quarter of an hour to go. Wow, Juan Manuel Kent has scored one of the great tries of World Cup Rugby. Not for anything special, but the fact it gives Uruguay the lead. Now they are in for a chance of winning this game. Unthinkable, but they are here. Super run from Diana and then the ball out wide to Kent. And he just gunned it. Fighter Carney gave a great chase, but Kent still dots down the outside centre, showing enough speed to get the race done. Well, that is a turn of events here. Now, Uruguay. Rochelle from the right hand side side puts a beautiful kick over. Perfect work from the Uruguay fly half. Bruschelli puts him up 21-14. And do we have a reply from Fiji? It wasn't long after they kicked off and they were conceding again, Fiji. Two tries in about 10 minutes. There's a deep one this time from Minamese. And again, it's Bruschelli who turns and he drills this over halfway into the Fijian half. Well, there's been some errors for the Fijians. They've not played a very structured game at all. But they've still got a chance to put this away. Dolokotu just gets it away from the grass with the Uruguayan jumpers. Now they go up to their back line. Boca, oh, high tackle. Boca slipped it back into Rotuva, who was wiped out. Now, what do Fiji want to do? A kick surely out of the range. They're going for touch with 10 minutes to play. They could tie this up. Now, that would be unthinkable. A tie game helps no one in this instance. Fiji have to win. The bonus point surely is out of the question now. Let's get on the action. Dolokoto inside the Uruguayan 22 by a whisker. Taken in the middle nicely. And they swing it in the knock on. Oh, the mistake from Fiji. And here comes Uruguay. They knock on as well. Big mistake there from Matavesi. Would have been easier to hang on to that. Straight out it goes, and he couldn't handle a hot potato. And Josh Matavesi with a big, Fine. big error for Fiji. 
Remember Shit. the score is still 21-14. Uruguay in charge over Fiji. Great spell from Uruguay. Arata skips out again and goes straight to Vasika. And now they win it inside. Good little ball as well. Finding Savita, who just charges his way over halfway. The turnover for Fiji. And Mike Cardi up from fullback. Takes it on halfway, but he's wrapped up by Blue Jumpers. Turned over again. Now it goes back. But Shelley for the corner. Kicks over here. There's no fullback there. And just trundling over will be Ratuva. And the ball is in touch. Uruguay playing the perfect finish here. What a game we've had. This has been a huge turnaround for Uruguay. Beaten massively. Less than a year ago, as this is strangely kicked out in midfield from Vatubua. What is he thinking? His seam is down. They are losing this game and they need to attack. Now, the buzzer is gone. The full time is gone. Now Uruguay just needs to win this line out and kick the ball out. They do so. They get it inside. It's Buscelli. Where does he want to go? They switch it on right into Silva. Silva trying to break a line. Trying to go for one more, but he ended up just going into touch. Full time. Upset setting of the Rugby World Cup. Uruguay have defeated Fiji. Paul D has just been tipped on its head by these two sides. Uruguay stun the world and give the Rugby World Cup their first big upset of 2019. I don't know how this one ranks of all the rest, but let me tell you, it is huge for Uruguay. Two tries to the Fijians, Nicky Conover and one to Jal Vatubua. On the Uruguayan side, plenty more celebrations going on. Manuel Lenteca with one try. Then it was Santiago Civetti with the other. And finally, one Manuel Cat with the third. All were converted from Philippe Buscelli to cap a brilliant night for Uruguayan rugby. They've done the unthinkable and they have defeated Fiji. Full-time stats, well, it was pretty tight in the end. Amazingly, the territory battle was turned around by Uruguay in the second half, 56 to 44%. Line breaks, they took over that as well, doubling half-time, 8 to 6, only for the Fijians. A brilliant game, a high-stakes game of Fiji. Well, they just weren't at the races at all. They've been outplayed, they've been outmuscled, and they've been outplayed tactically as well by the lowly-ranked Uruguayan side 19th versus 9th in the world and an easy win surely for the Fijians has turned into defeat and the World Cup dream of making the quarterfinals surely gone with a dash now still Wales to play for the Fijians they can still upset the apple card they can still make sides slip up but to lose to Uruguay will be a low point of their World Cup campaign 21-14 the full time score and that is me from day 6 of the Rugby World Cup Thank you everyone for tuning and watching. Hope you enjoyed the matchup as well. I'll be back again for day seven before we have a day off and then back to normal resumption after that. Hope you're all enjoying the videos each and every day and checking out the streams on the days that I follow the matches. But as always, thanks for coming by. Thanks for all tuning in. Let me know your thoughts on the Rugby World Cup so far. This match had to be done as a Uruguayan victory. I'd already done it as a Fijian victory, but I thought this is too monumental to leave out. So we've redone it, re-put it through, and Uruguay pick up that famous victory. I'll see you all for day seven, but until then, thanks for watching, and as always, take care.